Hey YouTube, this is PC Wizard here, and today I'm going to show you different ways you can jailbreak your Apple TV for those who uh, only use the um, jailbreaking their iPhone or iPod Touch. Now you have a few options. You can use Snowbreeze, Seasons Pass if you're a file call customer with a TV flash, or you can use the Ponage tool for Mac users. And the and Red Snow should be updated soon so it can jailbreak the Apple TV as well. Alright, since it's so um, fast and quick, I thought I'd show at least two of them. Let's start with Snowbreeze. Now, first, you open up Snowbreeze and you'll be greeted with the credits. And make sure you're running got version 2.5. I'll have links in the description for all these that you see today. Now you can either browse or you can drag the ISP file into that box. But I am put my firmware on the desktop and I'll also have a link to where you can download it. And make sure you get this one, uh, BF202 as the build number. And it has, ex ex has identified it. The next, you'll click the next. And there's no options, so it goes straight into creating the the custom ISPW. Now you can either play Pac-Man or you can just watch the spin rule. Now I could show you um, the next few steps, which I will, but I'm going to be pause it right here and resume once the um, custom firmware has been made. All right, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, it's done. The next step, once you've um, got to this stage, is to put the Apple TV into DFU into a DFU mode pwn state so it can accept the custom firmware. Now I'll show you over here, it, it does have instructions, but I will show you over here what you need to do. First, you watch the flashing light and you hold down the menu button and the down button for seven seconds until you see it rapidly flashing and then and then you and then you hold down the down the menu button and play button for ten seconds until you see it rapidly flashing and then it should be in DFU mode you will know um, once you hit once you hit start and it will run the um, the pwn boot it will it'll take about five seconds really quick and then you should have the custom firm you should use the custom firmware to restore that's been placed on the desktop okay and the for Mac users the ponage tool is pretty much the same steps Except when you once you've selected the ISPW and gone to the next um, spot, you just need to click on Build IPSW and then let it build it. And you may and you will need to enter your password for your computer. All right, the next option. I should put this back. Next option is called Seasons Pass. Um, I'll have a link in the description. You should really only use this if you plan to um, buy a TV flash or some other Apple TV custom software for, that needs a jailbreak. So I'll just extract it. This um, this is available for Windows and Mac. So I'm just showing you the Windows version, but it's the same interface pretty much. Okay, the first step is to create the IPSW. So you click it. It's going to download a new copy of the build number, so there's no way you're going to um, download the wrong one. And then the next step is actually creating a custom firmware based with the Um, based on the original firmware, I will pull, I will resume the video once 
it's finished creating the um, custom firmware. All right, we're back. And once it's done, it um, will bring up um, where the custom firmware is. It saves it in your My Documents folder in a folder called Seasons Pass. So that's where you'll need to point iTunes to do the custom restore. But before you can do that, you need to put it in a pwned state, which is what this will do right now. It will run you through the steps, but I've already shown you before on how to do this. So once you've done that, I'll just pause it right now and then get back to you when it's in a pwned state. Okay, I've just put it in DFU mode and it's found the device and now it's going to put it in a pwned state. Now it's going to tell you that it's successfully in DFU mode and to open up iTunes and shift and left click to restore and select the custom ISPW. I could show you how to do that but you guys know how to open up iTunes. Just open up. And it will pop up with the Apple TV so you just go shift left click now if you're a Windows 7 user it's in your my documents folder under the folder called seasons past and you'll know it's the custom firmware because it has SP right here and now we just have to click restore And that's basically it. Once it's completed, you can um, install any custom application that you may have or ATV Flash if you've bought it. Otherwise, I would use the Ponage tool or, or Snow Breeze. Alright, this has been another edition of PC Wizard. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll ha hope to see you guys soon. See you guys.